the black on black crime, how many of our people have been killed, have been murdered, down in the penitentiary, etc., etc. This is a video response back to you out of prison one one from brother to brother love your email but I want to ask you and people that's watching if we reflect back over the years especially when you go back to the I'm going to say the early 90's and up to now Especially when crack hit, when cocaine hit. So many brothers got in the dope game, like you say, brother. People will sell dope to their own mama. Women would try to sell their baby diapers to get a fix. Or do something sexual, something strange for a piece of change. We know who brought the stuff over here, but we have killed so many of each other with the drugs. See, it reminds me of New Jack City. Wesley Snipes played Nino Brown. That old man in that movie that, that shot and killed Nino at the end. That old man was making some valid points because they took over the whole neighborhood. Didn't care nothing about the ones that worked there. Didn't care about who he had to murder. And that old man got tired and he wanted to see justice. But you remember he called Nino Brown a dollar to him. He said, you killing your own people, man. You a dollar to and Nino said, and what can you offer them, old man? Mm. Another speech. And of course, at the end, the old man blew Nino away. He didn't even care about being locked up behind it. But his point was, he was watching a whole neighborhood, a community, being destroyed. They ran the projects. You know, when you look at the dope game, man, you can have judges on your payroll, police, crooked police officers, crooked judges, crooked, crooked lawyers, crooked everything on your payroll because the love of money is the root of all evil like we talked about the other day. But all this, I just look back over the years, all the fights in the club, the getting into it and shootouts and drive-bys, how many, how much black-on-black -black crime have went on? And how many have been put in the ground behind it? See, a lot of us still don't understand who and what we are. The younger generation now. I mean, you accidentally bump into somebody. You accidentally step on their shoe. It's, you get killed behind it. Then look at road rage, road rage now. But, but in this video, I'm just, I really want to just Look at this dope game, the drugs. Like MJG and 8 Ball said, the drugs, the violence, not one day of silence. The robbing and the shooting, the mothers prostituting. It's sick to look at. Man, now you see people shooting up the crack pipes. Intelligent brothers and sisters on the streets, homeless. Used to be something at one point in time in their life. Can't figure out how to shake that, that habit because they need the Holy Spirit. Just like when Chris Rock played um, Pookie in New Jack City, he said, keep calling me, keep calling me. He got straight and went undercover in so many ways, wore the wire, but he started back using 
them drugs. Now you got all kind of drugs out now. Poison. And I remember one brother I used to know. He he's he's gone now, dead and gone. But he he used to be in them be a dope dealer. And he said, man, I just didn't realize. The more and more I sold to my people, the more and more I was killing my people. And then he said, I started getting high of my own supply. Some people just never can shake that addiction. And it helped put men in the ground. You've seen people get on them drugs, then commit suicide. And one thing I tell any dope dealer that when I look them in their face, yeah, you some of y'all may brag about your expensive car, your luxury, your, your, your clothes, your jewelry, until your head get blown off on these streets. Till you get shot. Till you get thrown in that penitentiary or the grave. You can't take none of that stuff with you. I don't care how much jewelry you got. I don't care how much money you got. Once your heart stop and your lights is out, you can't take none of that stuff with you. And what does it profit a man to gain this world and lose his soul? I hate to see sisters strung out, brothers strung out. And I'm not just talking about my race of people. Drugs don't have no name on it. They don't have no race on it. You see people of all races strung out, homeless, poor, poor decisions. When I think about even where I where I grew up at, a lot of people died on these drugs, man. Strong out. When that when that crack, man, when that crack, that cocaine stuff hit, man, early eighties, it destroyed communities. I mean a lot of communities. Folks that used to be up, you wouldn't think that they would be strung out, and you see them now, they're walking around like zombies. But how many of us have killed our own? Hmm. When we realize what we could be, and we could just come together. But we never see it happen that way. Rally the power, the unity. That's what I love about the word community. It has the word unity wrote in there. But we can't even come together. Unless it's another type of agenda, like a Black Lives Matter. We quick to come together when a a white cop gunned down another black dude. But we ain't figured out yet who we are and what we are. I ain't talking about all of us. We ain't understanding the ones that don't. You're killing your own brother and sister. You still don't know who you are. You got identity crisis. You don't know who you are and what you are. And the impact you can play on others' lives when you get delivered. We always, I used to hear this all the time growing up with my older generation. I always talking about fighting the white man. The white man got his foot in my neck. But all I, all I would ever see is black on black. Blacks can't get along. Baby mama against baby daddy. Gang violence. Selling dope to our own kind. Carjacking. Stealing your coat. And get killed behind the coat. Get killed behind the pair of rims on your vehicle. Car gets stolen. Oh, you try to holler at my girl. What a foolish way to die and get killed behind. When reality. If we could just come together. But we see what it is. That's my time. Shalom.